Hey what's up guys, it's Kazoo here and welcome to episode 27 of Skill Into Glory and now uh, we're gonna start off by applying a couple of contacts to some of the players including the manager because they were low on them and then we move on into the first game of this episode while we uh, do come up against a bit of a hybrid team in the 4-1-2-1-2 formation with Lacazette, Benzema, Mario Goetze and also James Rodriguez so um, yeah we start off in the ninth minute with Guardado there on the wing uh, we almost lose the ball but then we get it back straight away we cut inside there with the Elastico we keep on going Going. then again we almost lose it but we get it back we cut in with the scoop turn I try to get a shot in but as you can see my opponent pulls off a really really nice slide tackle then uh, he goes on the counter attack immediately we almost intercept it with uh, Torres Nilo but he had a terrible touch on it then he goes through with Lacazette simply runs past my goalkeeper and he makes it 1-0 just like again the goalkeeper I don't know what he was doing I just I just couldn't understand it. But anyway, in the 26th minute, uh, we get some skill moves going with Arroyo. We cross it over to Molina. We do get a header in, but the header wasn't really the best. And a few minutes later, we picked up a free kick with Cordrado. And we do it the crossbar. Very, very unlucky. And you probably have noticed it from my previous videos as well. That, like, from the free kicks, I've been hitting the crossbar so many times. It's ridiculous. But uh, anyway, we move it into the second half. We get a chance with Ibarbo. Not the nicest goal, but I would take it, of course. Because we had a couple of chances, but we had just problems with, uh, with scoring. Then uh, in the 75th minute, he pretty much did the same runs past my defenders there with Lacazette tries to reach the near post and he puts it in like it's nothing to make it 2-1 and give him that lead in the very end so um, yeah that is basically how that game ended we had a couple of chances but in the end it was it was not enough to win the game so we lost that game as you can see we have I think three games left so um, yeah we, uh, we pretty much uh, need to win all of them in order to actually secure promotion I think so um, yeah we do apply a, f a few uh, healing cards there because Ibarbo and I think Medel were, were both injured and uh, we actually went out and picked up a new player that is going to be a uh, Conco from Lazio Roma because he's a little bit faster than uh, than Richards and you just need faster players especially in Division 2 and Division 1 so um, I decided to replace him with Conco because as I said he's a little bit faster and he also fits into this team as you can see so um, yeah we move on into the second game of this episode and we do come up against a pretty strong Barclays Premier League side in a 4 triple 2 formation with Aguero, Di Maria and also Yaya Torre so um, yeah we start off in the third minute we get the ball all the way to Memphis Depay from a goal kick then we run down the wing we cut inside with the reverse Elastico we try to reach the far post and as you can see his defender Filippo Luis actually puts it into his own net and straight after that he decided to rage quit as well even though he had plenty of time left because I think we were only like playing for two or three minutes and he was only 1-0 down so I didn't really see the point of rage quitting but anyway we picked up another three points which means we only need I think uh, five more points in order to uh, to secure promotion so we have to win our next two games otherwise we have to play this division all over again which I obviously don't want to so uh, we go to the third game and look at that for a team again a Premier League team with Hazard, Aguero, Sturridge, Di Maria you can see all the players but uh, anyway we start over in the second minute with the Ibarbo we get pushed to the ball then we get a bit of a slight tackle shot going there but a pretty easy save for his goalkeeper then the eighth minute he has the ball there with Di Maria and as you can see as well he was actually playing with a guest so they made it even harder for me to actually break them down and uh, create chances so uh, we move it into the second half we get a nice bit of play going uh, we get it all the way to Quadrado we go with the near post shot there as you can see and we do make it 1-1 to get ourselves back into the game then in the 78th minute we go on a run with the pie and as you can see we actually do pick up a penalty so a great opportunity to actually give us a lead and the Zibarbo step up for it and we do make it 2-1 to finally give us that lead but then in the 90th minute you don't believe it he gets through there with Di Maria pass it off to Sergio Aguero and he makes it 2-2 in the 90th minute like I seriously just couldn't believe it because we had to win this game otherwise we uh, we had to uh, play this division all over again like I mentioned previously but uh, into extra time we got one more chance with Memphis Depay this was pretty much the only thing we uh, we could do and that's what I decided to do pass it across to Ibarbo I know it is maybe a little bit dirty but I just decided to do it because it was the 90th minute we had to win that game and that was pretty much the only thing I I could do or maybe took a shot from a uh, from an impossible angle but anyway we won that game we move on into the final game in division 2 which also will be the final game uh, of this uh, of this episode if we win it we promote to division 1 if we lose we um yeah we basically have to play the division all over again anyway so um yeah we go into the final game we came up against that Bundesliga side we start off with Cuadrado there on the ball a really nice pass there to Ibarbo who goes 1-1 one -one. I tried to reach the near post but as you can see a great save there from his goalkeeper then in the 38th minute we go with a fake Rabona with Cuadrado we lose the ball then he boots it all the way up forward to Aubameyang he gets it over to Ramos pass it back to Aubameyang 
I couldn't catch up with Patrick van Arnold or with Koscielny. Uh, he tries to reach the near post and he actually uh, puts it into the back of the net of the crossbar and a pretty nice finish. But like those counterattacks, they are like just unstoppable. They they're like impossible to defend really, uh, especially when you uh, when you have players like Aubameyang. And then into the second half, like look at that for a goal by Adrian Ramos, a first time volley into the back of the net again. A goal I just couldn't really do anything about then uh, in this into the 77th minute look at that kind of stuff uh, he tries to clear it but then we actually intercept the ball then uh, we have the ball with Ibarba try to go for a shot gets blocked off then he clears it away again then we win the header there with Leroy Fair eventually eventually we pick it up with Ibarbo and we put it into the back of the net to make it 2-1 and actually get us a goal back in the very end but then in the 85th minute like what the hell was I doing like defending in that way just causes so many problems but uh, anyway he crossed it over there to Adrian Ramos goes with the dive header and he makes it 3-1 yet again in this game as he scores a uh, pretty pretty nice goal then in the 87th minute on top of that he plays it all the way to Mikitarion who goes 1-1 one -on -one versus the goalkeeper makes it 4-1 and pretty much makes it game over even though it was game over we do get a goal back though with Dumbia the player I decided to sub on as you can see a shot at the near post to make it 4-2 but um, yeah that was pretty much it so uh, we lost this game which means that we have to play Division 2 all over again, which I'm obviously not happy with. But um, yeah, we have to do it in order to uh, to reach Division 1, which we hopefully can do this time. So uh, yeah, guys, that is going to be the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then make sure to leave a like. would be very much appreciated. And if you can hit 1,500 likes, that would be absolutely awesome. So I'd like to thank you very much for watching. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.